Welcome to Tales of Marketing Transformation, laying firm foundations for your marketing journey. Tune out all the black magic and imagine a time where marketing has transformed into something human. Where marketing is about building relationships with people you serve. Where marketing is about helping people. That time is now. This is Tales of Marketing Transformation. And here's your host, internationally recognized marketer, speaker, and podcaster, Dr. Jürgen Strauss. Hello, and thank you for joining me as I share more about the quest to make marketing human again. In the last episode, I introduced our transformational marketing blueprint and spoke about marketing as the art and science of creating and sustaining exceptional, remarkable customer experiences and relationships. Today, we'll be exploring the first step in the blueprint and the foundation of creating exceptional experiences and relationships. That's our lighthouse. Of course, The lighthouse is a metaphor. To understand its meaning in the context of transformational marketing, stay tuned. Head on over to talesofmarketingtransformation.com for the show notes to this episode. Also, if you have a podcast, or you're thinking about starting a podcast, or you want to be a guest on other people's podcasts, then reach out to me to discuss how I can help you with editing, production, music, or whatever is standing in your way of getting your voice heard and building your visibility, your credibility, and a deep connection with your dream clients. Are you shining your light brightly to be exceptional and to serve your audience? Can they see your light? And do they know what that represents? This is Tales of Marketing Transformation. It's dark, and Clara hasn't come in yet, said my wife, full of concern. She won't answer my calls. I told her not to worry. I'll get the torch. Clara is not our cat. She belongs to my daughter Stephanie. Because Stephanie loves to travel, and also travels frequently for extended trips on business, Clara often takes a holiday at our home, so we can take care of her whilst Stephanie is away. Clara and Stephanie live in an apartment on the second floor of their building. When Clara comes to stay with us, she loves nothing more than to go out in our garden and explore all the different sights, sounds and hiding places. Isn't that what a holiday is all about? Doing something different? Now that's all well and good, until it gets dark. Our council has a bylaw for protection of the native fauna that cats must be kept inside between dusk and dawn. Now that's a really good thing, I think. And as a responsible cat owner, we bring all our cats in between dusk and dawn. However, Clara especially enjoys being outside in the dark, and convincing her that it's in everyone's best interests for her to come inside can be a challenge. And for those people that are cat owners, you're probably feeling the pain with me right now. I first used the torch to help me see where Clara was in the dark. It was my guiding light and so, so helpful. Then I learned that Clara was attracted to the light, to come look what I was doing. She loved following the light path, particularly if it moved quickly. So, whenever Clara didn't return to the house by herself at dusk, I'd shine the torch to light up her path, and, sure enough, she'd come straight inside. The torch was my guiding light to see where she was, and it was her guiding light to follow her path to her destination. Just like a lighthouse. My lighthouse. It's the metaphor for step one of the transformational marketing blueprint. 
Again, kudos to my friend George Bryant for this wonderful metaphor. Our lighthouse represents the four levels or essential foundations that all successful businesses have. It's self-awareness. It's our who, our why, what we do, and how we do what we do. In this step of the transformational marketing blueprint, we work on being really clear about the value we provide. Now, lighthouses don't react to their environment. Whether it's the weather, a storm, winds, or whatever external influence comes along. They proactively continue to shine their light with the same intensity and the same direction as they always do, to be as consistent and as congruent as possible, so that their customers can always find their way to the shore. In business, our lighthouse is where clarity and congruency are born. This is the foundation of our brand and the stance we take in this world. Our lighthouse represents our business, and as I said, it requires four levels to be operational. These are the essential foundations. For our business to work, our lighthouse must have all these four levels in place. So what are those levels? Well, level one, it's who. Who am I as a business owner? Who are we as a business? Now, this is about self-awareness. It's about being really clear about our origin story and owning our story. Now, one way that we do this is by asking questions which has the structure of I am a, let's say I am a man, and I'm so much more than that. Then you repeat that question and keep repeating. It's almost ad nauseum. Now this is best done with a partner. Then you take all the statements that come out of that and compile them into a meaningful story that we connect with emotionally and helps us elevate our self-awareness. So let me give you an example. When I did this exercise, I came up with these things. I am a transformational podcaster. I am a podcast host. I'm a podcast coach, I'm a speaker, I'm a trainer, I'm an idea generator, I'm a content creator, I'm an innovator, I'm a blogger, I'm a marketing strategist, I'm a systems geek, I'm a scientist, I'm a learn-it-all, I'm curious, I'm an obsessed cyclist, so we get into personal things, I'm a keen hobby photographer, I'm an NLP master practitioner, I'm a proud and loving father, and I'm a proud and loving husband. And there's probably a lot more. We could probably keep going. Now, taking all of these statements and compiling them into a meaningful story that we connect with emotionally is is the important part of all of that. So these are just some statements that I've shared with you, but as an example. And then taking that and writing a, a story that somebody else can read and say, wow, I think I like that person, or... No, I don't like that person, which either way is perfectly okay. The important thing is that we're really clear ourselves on who we are and what value we offer to the world. Level two then is why. Why do we do what we do? And we look at this on two levels, on the personal level and the business level, because it's not like in the old days of the corporate world where you know business is business, personal is personal. As you know, we're all about making marketing more human here and business and personal are all one thing because it's all part of us as people. So my personal why is to live my ideal day every day and I have a, a pretty big description of my ideal day, a whole story around that and have the resources to do that, to live my ideal day. Also to be a model for my customers, my family, and my friends. Hopefully also for you, my podcast listener. My business why is that we imagine a world where business coaches and consultants, these are our dream clients, have as much business as they want to give them the business and the lifestyle that they desire. 
to enable them to make a difference in the world to other people, to a lot of other people. So these are some whys that, and I'm hesitating a little bit because those statements do connect with me emotionally and do kind of tear me up a little bit. And unless they do that, they're not strong enough whys. They won't get you through the tough times. So really challenge yourself to dig deep into the why. The level three then is the what. It gets a little bit easier here, although what we do should be expressed succinctly in 10 words or less. And so wordsmithing the what into this 10 words or less can be a bit challenging. What I encourage everyone to do is keep this at the really high level. So my what, we help put the human back into marketing. Very simple. Now that doesn't talk about what we do specifically. It doesn't get into specifics, but it informs everything we do. It's the theme behind this podcast. It's the theme behind our Anova Buzz podcast. It's the theme behind our business. Level four then is how we do what we do and the modalities of delivery. And again, we keep this at a very high level. We're not talking about a specific training program that I might offer. So the how, in our case, is we teach people how to niche down, to connect deeply with their customers, to realize that marketing is about creating and sustaining exceptional, remarkable customer experiences and relationships. And the modalities of delivery might be things like uh, video, podcast, training programs, online training, live workshops, and so on. So that's the lighthouse, and I've shared with you my example. When we have total clarity on the four levels of our lighthouse, we can have congruence in everything we do within our business and every single message that we send out. Here's what I invite you to do. Take a flip chart or a whiteboard and draw a lighthouse. On four levels, beginning with the base of the lighthouse, write out a clear statement of your who, your why, your what, and your how. Put that in a place where you'll always see it, and then update it and refine it over time. This should be a living, breathing picture. Never the sort of plan that goes into the bottom drawer and doesn't get looked at again for another 12 months or whatever. This is in front of you. It should be your guiding light. Most importantly, as you go forward, check that you're congruent with your lighthouse. Now, if you're up for it, record a video of yourself explaining that lighthouse and send it to me. This will not only help you clarify your thinking, it'll also give me a better idea of your guiding light. And if you do send me a video, then I promise that I'll respond with personal feedback. In the meantime, keep shining your light. This is Tales of Marketing Transformation. I've got two personal book recommendations for this episode. The first one is, not surprisingly, Start With Why by Simon Sinek, and it's subtitled How Great Leaders Inspire Everyone to Take Action. Now, because this is such a famous book and you're probably already familiar with it, I'll add a second one today, and that's The Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. Its subtitle is Unleashing the Power of Consciousness, Matter and Miracles. This is a book that takes research from cell biology and quantum physics to explain how we can retrain our thinking in areas where we want different results to what we have. And don't worry, all the geeky science, which I happen to love, by the way, is explained in a brilliant yet easy-to-understand form for non-scientists, too. Get both books from your favourite bookstore. Thanks for listening to this episode. Subscribe to the show to be reminded of new episodes. It's free to subscribe. Leave a review if you like. Now, even if you don't like me, I'm okay with that. I'm asking you to leave a review because it helps other people find this show, others that might find it helpful. 
Go to Tales of Marketing Transformation to join our Marketing Transformation community and access a free gift that my team and I made for you. It's the Marketing Master Mini Class. We want to give you everything you need to transform your marketing into a human-centered, relationship-focused growth engine so that you can build your visibility, your professional credibility and your connection with your ideal clients. I'm Jürgen Strauss from Innovabiz. Tune in again next week when we'll explore step two of the transformational marketing blueprint, our target market and dream customer. Stay awesome and let's make marketing human again. Thanks for coming on this journey with Tales of Marketing Transformation. Join us next week for another fabulous episode. For episode resources, visit www.talesofmarketingtransformation.com. Stay connected by subscribing at talesofmarketingtransformation.com forward slash subscribe.